Hey everyone, this is Justin from Frontly again, and I have another exciting feature update to share with you all that you can implement into your app today. At Frontly, we've been growing the number of custom actions you can add to your user flow, and we are happy to add another action to our repertoire with the OpenAI request action. The OpenAI request action helps you and your users save time in the creation of any text content with the help of ChatGPT built right into your Frontly app. Using the prompts and inputs you decide, you can automate unique and high quality descriptions in your app anytime with the click of a button. Let me show you how. Before I begin, I will mention that every use of this feature will deduct an AI token from your account's monthly balance. Upgrading your plan to the unlimited monthly or the unlimited lifetime deal would not only give you the best value for your monthly AI tokens, but for all the additional features that are listed on this page as well. If the amount of tokens is still not enough, don't worry, Frontly has you covered with additional tokens through an add-on package starting as little as $5 a month. Check your billings tab today to view the details of your plan and reach out to us if you'd like to know more before upgrading. So for my first example, let me first demonstrate how this new flow can play out for your users before I share with you my setup. I have a haiku builder here, and all I ask of my users are three inputs, a noun, an adjective, and a verb. Just through the submission of these three single word inputs, this app will be able to process and generate high quality responses based on my specifications. Let's try this live. So for a noun, I'm going to pick friendly. For an adjective, I will select creative. And for a verb, I am going to enter build. I'm going to click on the create haiku button and it will generate down here. And would you look at this, creative friendly, build with passion and skill, crafting dreams from dust. Nice. Well, as you can imagine, I can do this with really any collection of words, and I can do this again with the same or different set of words and inputs if I want to. And I know it will consistently produce an output based on how I've set up my OpenAI request. Let's take a look now at how I've done this. Here's where you'll find the OpenAI request action as one of many actions at Frontly that you can trigger today. Here is how I was able to create my Haiku Builder with three simple steps. Step one was creating an open AI request step with the submission of my form, which you can see right here. Notice how you're able to pull from your Frontly data sources through the use of dynamic variables. This is a very, very cool and integrative feature that factors in many pre-existing elements of your Frontly app and what enabled my inputs to shape how the response was generated. Step two creating a local state update step that updates the local state I've configured to the value equal to the response from the open AI request. So this step is a particularly important step to call out. Once our system and our open AI integration is able to generate a response from your inputs, you will need to find a way to surface that response on your app. One of the ways you can do it is through a local state update. If you're already familiar with local states at Frontly, Local state values on their own only exist for the duration of your user's session or until they refresh their page. Keep watching for my next example if you would like to record these OpenAI responses into your spreadsheets, but for this example, they are only temporary. Lastly, just to cover our bases with the action steps dynamic variable you see here, the variable corresponds to the step within the sequence I've created. And the response suffix will correspond to the response that was generated from that step. The last step is now surfacing the value of the updated local state, which is into the text block you see here. By clicking into it, you can see that its default text has been configured to your haiku will generate here until the local state is updated from your user's submission. And that's it. Three simple steps is all that's needed to build your own Haiku Builder today or any other app just like it. Let's move on to our final example. For my final example today, I've created a dog sitting app where users can submit details about their dogs, which will generate a fun description on them based on those details. This setup is a little more elaborate than the last one, 
because I want the users to approve their descriptions on this page before they are updated into the listing of this grid view here. This will require the responses to be saved or updated into my spreadsheet first. So here's how I did it. On my form block, to guide ChatGPT to generate the ideal description for my users, I've set up this lengthy prompt for my first step. The more specific you are with your prompt and what you're expecting out of your responses, the better your results will be. So notice again how I'm leveraging the user's inputs through dynamic variables to inform what responses should be generated into my sheets. From here, rather than choosing the local state update action like last time, I'm instead going to select the Google Sheet one that will create a new row of data that will record all of the user's form inputs below, including the response from the OpenAI request action here. The last step I'm configuring in this sequence will be to navigate my users to the confirmation page, which will pass on the URL parameters of the newly submitted Friendly ID and uploaded image into this page's info list and image block respectively. Now for a chance for you to see how it all flows. I have pre-filled all of my dog's information into this form here in advance. When I'm ready to submit, it will take me to the confirmation page with my uploaded image and newly generated description based entirely from my submitted inputs. If I don't like how it was generated this time, I can regenerate the text again by clicking this button, the setup of which is very similar to the previous form, except I'm only editing the description in the row instead of creating a net new one. Once I'm happy with how this all looks, I will confirm with this button here to the updated listing page, which shows my dog with the rest of them. That wraps up our showcase of the OpenAI request action feature. I hope you enjoyed our video tutorial today and are already envisioning some creative use cases of this feature for your app. We at the Friendly team are very excited to see what you all come up with. And if you are searching for inspiration on any ideas of how this can be adopted into your user flow, join our conversations today in our Discord community. Link is at the bottom. Let us know also if we can optimize your Friendly plan to accommodate this new feature. As always, thank you for tuning in today. Please drop a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for new content like this every week. Have a great day, everyone.